that you're here because you're convinced, as I am, that WHO can and must play a vital role in our world. We cannot do business as usual. We need a paradigm shift, a radical change in approach. The global health architecture has changed dramatically. So must we. That's what the GPW is all about. Its aim is to give birth to a WHO that has the clarity of mission to truly fulfill its mandate. It's ambitious, and it must be. We cannot afford to aim low. It's about transforming global health and ultimately transforming human lives. It's about people. It starts by clarifying our mission to promote health, keep the world safe, and serve the vulnerable. This is what our member states are asking us to do. Of course, there will be financial implications from implementing the new GPW, but we're not starting with the financial question. We're starting with vision and ambition, uninhibited vision and ambition, asking what the world needs and how we can deliver it. The GPW is the result of extensive consultation with staff, with partners, and with you, our member states, and at each regional committee meeting, we presented the GPW and incorporated your feedback. But I want to emphasize that we are here still to listen. The GPW is a draft, and it's your draft because it's your WHO. It's an opportunity to reimagine the health of 7 billion people. We will need detailed implementation plans. We will need detailed costing plans. But we must start by making sure we have a shared vision and strategy. In everything we do, we must act with speed, with scale, and with quality. We're faced with huge challenges, so we must be as ambitious as we can. And we're serving the people of the world, so we must give them our every best efforts. The stakes are too high. We cannot afford to wait. The world is watching. I thank you.